a three interception, six forced fumble, eight pass breakup season would be one to hang your hat on. But Bobcat safety Javon Hagen can't. His helmet's back on for spring ball 2017. I'm Russ Eisenstein, the voice of the Ohio Bobcats, and our spring coverage with Ohio football is presented by Ohio Health, the sports medicine and orthopedics provider of Ohio University Athletics. Yes, Hagen flew up from Jacksonville, Florida for his redshirt freshman season, and he did all of that in 2016. He was the max freshman of the year and an All-American as a freshman. So what do you do for an encore? Well, if you have all that kind of production, you really don't want an off season. You want to get back on the field for spring ball and the season to come. It was a humbling experience, but it was also a fun experience that like finally get out there and make some plays. So. All told, Ohio's defense was third best in the MAC last year, first in sacks and tied for first with 15 interceptions. That's pretty good for a secondary that was largely pretty new. There weren't a lot of expectations on them last year, but with that production, there will be a lot this year. I've been studying my technique, getting better throughout the spring. It relates back to technique. It's just disappointing when you make just that one slow step and you don't make that one plant to get to your aiming point. And things like that can mess up statistics for the team. And they mess up statistics for myself as well, just not making that one, that one plant and making the play. So everything, everything is key as far as technique, everything matters. As good as Ohio was on the defensive side last year, it's interesting to see they were ninth best against the pass. The MAC isn't as pass happy as it used to be, but it still is an aerial association. So Hagen knows that has to be better and the work starts now. We lost some key factors on our D-line. Terrell Basham, awesome player. Uh, we were leading with the sacks in the whole NCAA, so that's going to be that's a big expectation for our D line. Blair Brown, Blair Brown is a big linebacker who's also leaving, so like our linebackers have to step up their game as well. And we have to, I feel like as far as expectations, we have to do better in the secondary because we gave up a lot of things on the pass defensive side, so that's another big expectation too. There's always a lot of motivation when you play at Ohio, and you can take a look at draft time now as Terrell Basham and Blair Brown from last year are expected to go in the upcoming NFL draft. You can have a very profitable career if you play at Ohio and move on to the pros. Obviously, you could take a look at Mike Mitchell with the Pittsburgh Steelers and T.J. Carey with the Oakland Raiders. So the work that's done here can lead to team success and maybe individual success in the future, too. As a matter of fact, I reach out to Mike Mitchell all the time, just trying to get some uplift from him. I talk to Terrell all the time, Blair, and they just keep telling me, be humble, keep God first, and just every day you come out, just play like practice like it's your last in every game, play like it's your last. So when you have big key figures in your life like that who come from the same spot and who's on the same field as you're on now, it, it gives you something to look up to. This is the second to last week of spring ball for Hagen and the Bobcats. They'll bring the curtain down next week. But this Saturday is a pretty big Saturday, spring fest sort of Saturday for Bobcat athletics, as there will be an open practice for football at Peden Stadium. But the surplus sale and perhaps the biggest one we've ever had starts at noon. Practice will follow. You'll make sure to be at Peden Stadium to grab up all the goodies, the Russell athletic gear and a whole bunch of other stuff. That should be a big one on Saturday. Bobcat softball plays a big weekend series against Ball State. Those broadcasts are on OhioBobcats.com with Jake Kermata. Bobcat baseball is a big series at home this weekend, too, against Central Michigan. I'll have that with Max McDoolin on WOUBAM at OhioBobcats.com, starting with the doubleheader on Saturday at 1. Our coverage of Bobcat Spring Ball 2017 is presented by Ohio Health. Believe in we. I'm Russ Eisenstein, and this is Bobcat TV.